Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a logarithmic equation with the natural log. Or maybe an exponential one, or both. I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the second one. The reason why I want to start with the second method here is because almost always we start with the first method. So let's just start with the second one this time. So my second me method basically involves the following. I'm going to use the properties of logs. On the right hand side, notice that x is an exponent, right? So by using the properties, we can move this to the front. So this becomes ln x times ln x on the right hand side. The left hand side stays unchanged. And then uh, we can just write the right hand side as ln x to the second power. Awesome. Now, notice that ln x is um, ln x squared is greater or equal to zero, right? Because when you square something, it's not going to be negative. Uh, so we can kind of do the following. Uh, you can, you can. There are two ways to go about it at this point, I guess. But I'm just going to divide both sides by ln x quantity squared, and get the following: ln x to the power, ln x divided by ln x to the second power. So I can just subtract the exponents and set this equal to one. All right, great. So from here we get um, a couple of different possibilities. Uh, if something to the power of something else is equal to one. I think in a previous video we talked about this. Then you can say three things. A is equal to 1 and then B is can be anything. Uh, A is equal to negative 1 and then B has to be even. Or B is 0 but A does not equal 0. So A can be anything in this case. Make sense? So all these are the different cases we're going to be looking at. So let's start with the first one. ln x can equal 1. And in that case... Uh, we're going to be getting what? Uh, if ln x is equal to 1, that means x is equal to e, right? Okay, cool. Uh, what about the other options? Uh, if a is equal to negative 1, so we have ln x equals negative 1. This just means that x is equal to uh, negative uh, e to the power of negative 1, which can be written as 1 over e. But we also have to have that b is even. So when x is equal to this, do you think ln x minus 2 is going to be even? Let's find out. Well, if uh, ln x is negative 1, then this is negative 1 minus 2. But unfortunately, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3, and that is not even. So, uh, this doesn't work. We're not going to take x equals 1 over e. We're going to reject it. And now look at the third one, b equals 0. So that is ln x minus 2 is equal to 0, which means ln x is equal to 2. This implies x equals e squared. So those are the cases, and basically we get two solutions from here, x equals e and x equals e squared. Now what is the second way to go about it? Fairly easy. If you look at this equality, the bases are the same, therefore the exponents are going to be the same, ln x equals 2. This gives you x equals e squared, or you can say, hey, the base can be 1 as well, because one any power of 1 is 1. So you can also say that, hey, ln x equals 1 is going to work, this means x equals e. And negative 1, you already know that it's not going to work. And you can easily check that here, because if um, ln x is negative 1, you get negative 1 to the power of negative 1, and that does not equal negative 1 squared. So we have that problem there, that's why we only have two solutions. Make sense? I hope it does. Let's go ahead and talk about the first method now. Because we started with the second, the next method is going to be the first one. All right, great. So now, re let me rewrite the equation. We have ln x to the power ln x. And then the other one is without the parentheses. So you, as you see, it's not always possible, but sometimes. So I'm going to use substitution. Obviously, that's a cool method. Let's set ln x equal to y. And now you get y to the power y. The right-hand side isn't, isn't that nice. It just becomes when you move the ln x to the front, it's just going to be y ln x, or you can write it as y squared. Okay, great. But uh, let's go ahead and focus on this now. Obviously, at this point, we have a solution, but I just want to show you an alternative to look at it. So I get y to the y equals y ln x, and then we can basically divide um, 
both sides by y. And that is going to give us uh, y to the power y minus 1 equals ln x. Great. Now, um, since x is equal to, uh, let's see, what x is equal to, ln x is equal to y, we can replace ln x with y here. y to the power y minus 1 equals y. And then, here's what I'm going to do. Obviously, you can get the solution from here. I know it's kind of like, uh, seems unnecessary, but I just want to show you an alternative. Uh, let's ln both sides. You know, with these equations, that's a common strategy. And then, uh, I, would, I would like to put everything on the same side. So it's kind of like, let me clarify this a little bit more. Oh, that's too small. So let's go ahead and expand this. So y ln y minus ln y minus ln y is equal to 0. This means y ln y minus 2 ln y is equal to 0. And I can basically take out y minus 2 and multiply that by ln y and set the whole thing equal to 0. Great. So this is really nice because uh, we got rid of all the powers. We have uh, two terms that are being multiplied and the product is 0. So from here we can say all right, either y minus 2 is equal to 0 which means y equals 2 or ln y is equal to 0 which means y equals 1. But remember y is the same as ln x so we can set this equal to ln x and ln x. And from here we get x equals e squared and x equals e to the first power or just e. So these are the solutions. But do you think these would satisfy the original equation? I mean, they are supposed to, right? So, But let's just go ahead and check for fun. We have ln x to the power ln x. And that should equal ln x to the power ln x. Notice that when you use parentheses, it makes a huge difference. Well, for these values, it doesn't. But for general other values, there is tons of other values for which this equation is not true. Let's go ahead and plug in ln um, x equals e squared. So ln e squared to the power ln e squared. Does that equal ln e squared to the power? So in this case, you're kind of raising x to a power. So I will use parentheses and write this as ln e squared. Awesome. So now... Uh, ln e squared is equal to 2, so this is like 2 to the power 2, which is equal to 4. And obviously, this is also 2. So I'm going to move the 2 to the front, and that's going to be 2 times ln e squared, which is also 2. So the question is, the, are they equal? And the answer is, yes, they are. 2 squared equals 2 times 2. Awesome. So e squared works, and let's go ahead and test x equals e. Same way, ln e to the power ln e gives us 1 to the power 1, which is 1. But on the other hand, if you have ln e to the power ln e, then ln e you can just move to the front and write it as ln e times ln e, and that is going to be 1 times 1, which is equal to 1. Great. So this kind of verifies both of the solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.